not to be confused with Lake Eufaula in Oklahoma. The Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge lies on the eastern edge of the Mississippi Flyway in Alabama and Georgia. The Muscogee people once inhabited the land. Hardwood trees dominated the landscape and the river edges were filled with Muscogee towns. Then in the 1800s, European settlers moved into the area. The ethnic cleansing policy of the United States government resulted in the forced removal of tens of thousands of Muscogee to land west of the Mississippi River during the winter of 1836 and 1837, an event still remembered by the storytellers as the Trail of Tears. In 1898, the Curtis Act stripped much of the land granted to the Muscogee away from them and attempted to dismantle the ancient tribal government. By the 1900s, the Muscogee, after so many dark days, are again actively engaged in the process of accepting and asserting the rights and responsibilities of a sovereign nation. I am not a Muscogee, but I was born among them and hold them dear to my heart as did my father who spoke their language. The town of Eufaula, near the Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge, is named using a Muscogee word meaning oral, or on English, eagle. The town, which served as a port city for steamboats along the Chattahoochee River, was first named Irvington after the founder. Irvington's name was later changed to Eufaula in memory of the people who once lived there. The Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge was established in 1964 through community support and in cooperation with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It is located on both banks of the Chattahoochee River in southeast Alabama and southwest Georgia. Named after the city of Eufaula, the refuge offers a variety of wetland and upland habitats for diverse fauna. A prominent feature of the abundant wetlands is Lake Eufaula and several feeder streams. The Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge is home to a large variety of birds, mammals, reptiles, and insects. Habitats range from lake to shallow shores, from creeks to wetlands, from open fields to shaded woodlands. In addition to the many species which call the refuge home all year round, many more use the refuge as a migratory destination or stopover during the fall winter and spring. The varied habitats provide adequate shelter for migratory waterfowl and neotropical migratory birds. Wildlife species such as deer, turkey, quail, dove, hawks, owls, rabbits, squirrel, otters, coyote, bobcat, and beaver, to name just a few, are present on the refuge throughout the year. Other inhabitants include large populations of reptiles, amphibians, insects, and fishes. The habitat of Eufaula National Wildlife Refuge also provides protection for endangered and threatened species such as the bald eagle, woodstark, American alligator, and the occasional peregrine falcon.
Waterfowl can be seen most easily during November through February. Visitors are directed to the Upland Waterfowl Viewing Platform overlooking the Upland Impoundment. It is a covered open-air pavilion and the impoundment is a shallow water area managed specifically as a waterfowl resting and feeding area. To see wading and water birds, visitors are directed to one of four impoundments, three of which have active nesting colonies of several species. Access these areas by automobile, walking, and biking. In the spring, look for breeding herons and egrets on Bird Island visible from the Wildlife Drive. The island itself is off limits to visitors. For migratory songbirds, we suggest walks into the wooded areas around the Wildlife Drive or other areas. Many other wildlife species such as alligators, hawks, and deer can be seen along the Seven Mile Wildlife Drive. Peak wintering populations of ducks reached over 40,000 in the mid-1970s. In recent years, populations have peaked at 12 to 20,000. Few migrant geese use Eufaula Refuge, but a resident Canada goose population now totals about 2,000. The refuge supports large breeding and wintering populations of raptors, including bald eagles and osprey. Numerous osprey and several active bald eagles are in the refuge area. Several large rookeries are located on the refuge, consisting of hundreds of great blue heron, great egret, snowy egret, little blue heron, anhinga, and cattle egrets. The refuge supports large populations of herons and other marsh birds year-round. About 100 woodstarks are present during the spring and summer, and several hundred sandhill cranes winter on the refuge. It is possible that the soon-to-be-established eastern populations of whooping cranes will use the Eufaula refuge during their migration flight. An abundance of other migratory birds are seasonally present. Resident wildlife includes bobwhite quail, wild turkey, beaver, fox, raccoon, possums, bobcat, swamp and cottontail rabbits. White-tailed deer are also present in high numbers. A healthy growing population of threatened American alligators also exists in the refuge wetlands.
This has been David for Low Budget Films, Hollywood on the Gulf. Much of the visual material has been provided by the United States Department of Agriculture, which we deeply appreciate, but need to tell you the USDA in no way endorses our presentation. Thank you for watching.